All right, so I got a whole bunch of shit today. Um, here's pretty much my pre, pre Phoenix. Um, you know, the big dirty, fix them up. The coolant bottle, the one on mine, looks like it was starting to want to crack. So I was like, ah, screw that. I don't want that to happen on the side of the road. I got a uh, front main seal for it, and then the the O-rings for the oil cooler because um, that's kind of starting to look like it wants to start leaking too. I got another piece of shit, one of those, so it could break and I could be mad. Again, I got me some, you know, Harbor Freight shit, um, roll cage cut and stuff, and some cutoff wheels, and some Bondo spreaders. I got heater hoses for Big Dirty, radiator hoses for Big Dirty, some crap to wire the, the damn car with, keep the wires all undicked. Air filter, give me an O2 centered bung. This is spark plug Fowler's 18 mil. Um, and basically, you just cut off, cut off the kind of the end right there, and then just weld it in your damn exhaust. And you got like a four dollar O2 sensor, two, you know, four dollar O2 sensor bungs, and you get two of them. Um, right now, I got. I gotta get gas for the go pad for pit vehicle. I got two full bottles of nitrous. Um, there's my my thing for the torch. So I can heat that guy up. I got me a, a personal pizza to you know so I could feed myself like four times tonight. Um, and then a, a monster. And yeah, so first off, I'm gonna start off with rewiring the car and the nitrous system, and then I'm gonna start on big dirty. All right, so uh, so now I'm basically just taking the taking the dash out. Got everything pretty much ready to ready to come out, all unbolted and everything. Camera on this or the this video camera doesn't have a damn flash on it, so I got to use my damn little little pen light. But uh, but anyhow, basically what I'm going to be doing with uh, with this whole situation here, um, I think basically my switched ignition that's supposed to trigger the relays was what went bad last time um, or I'm thinking um, and it wasn't triggering the relays or I don't know if it's a combination of the alternator or something, something stupid but even when I got it back and I I deleted the the kill switch um, you know I don't have the kill switch hooked up and I basically just had this distribution block right here um, you know, running one one of these thick wires, running up there, and then running back to the to the distribution block up here, just so I could, you know, have all the power and crap and stuff like that coming off of this. <clears throat> um, so anyhow, that's uh, that's basically that situation. But after I replaced the alternator, and I had this exactly how it is now, it was still doing that little hiccup and shit, and you could hear like the relays and stuff over here like clicking. Um, and I had some red and white wire over here, but, uh, anyhow, you could, that's just a wire, uh, for the switch to ignition, basically. Um, so that's how, how it's ran, and I've put probably, you know, 50 or 100 miles cruising it around town on it, and haven't had any issues like that, so I'm going to be cleaning up all this. I have, uh, this little guy right here, um... And I'm gonna use that other switch up on the firewall, and then I'm gonna have this running, basically, just directly, you know, off of, you know, like somewhere in here. I'll just have this in the main, the main panel, um, you know. So I'll switch that on, and that'll basically be my switched ignition. I'll still have it to where you could start it with the key, you know, for like security reasons and stuff like that. Um, but so that'll be my switched. And that'll be sending power over to this block right here. This is my new fuse block that I got. So I'm gonna be running that and I'm gonna change. You know, this, this wiring was all supposed to be temporary um, a long time ago. And then I ended up, oh, look at that, there's a flash. But uh, wiring was supposed to be temporary a long time ago. Ended up being not temporary and I just left it. So now I just need to go back through and redo pretty much everything, which which is fine. Um, I guess I'll just clean it up and make sure make sure it's easy to easy to access and easy to get to everything. Um, so yeah, that's 
that's pretty much pretty much the deal with that. Um, so let's see. Oh, and then really, really the only relay I'm going to be using is from for the wire right here um, going to the nitrous, and that's going to come off of the little pro logger box or whatever. That's going to switch switch the the relay basically arming the system so I'm gonna have like a you know arm in the system shit and then I don't know how, however the hell I'm gonna have that work but it's gonna arm the system and then I'm gonna have it to where something to where I could have a switch to where I could choose whether I have the nitrous on or off and then you know I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do some shit with that I, I still need to look at the instructions on that prologger I got it got it used from a buddy that was parting out his Honda so gonna end up using that that thing should save save the day um, I did buy this other um, you know thing off of eBay and, and that's basically another window switch um, but I ended up finding this thing in my closet when I was looking looking for you know papers and stuff for all the stuff that I'd taken out of my truck so, uh, so yeah. All right, so just yanked out uh, all this crap. It had like a aftermarket alarm in it, like an auto page, like pretty good alarm, but you know, it's not not a damn street car anymore. So it needs to shit had to go. You know, there's this whole thing was just stuffed full of friggin' wires, um, and you can see all this crap. This is the main harness going up to the ignition switch, and you can see. You know, they had all that shit cut into there, which is how you're supposed to do it, but, you know, maybe a little bit prettier than this, but, um, you know, that's, that's pretty much just, uh, you know, I'm just going to reattach this one to the other one. I think these ones are just leads off of them, you know, like just kind of jumping in there, but I'm going to make sure, make sure everything's wired still correctly how it's supposed to be, and then, you know, put it, uh, put it back together. <clears throat> Alright, so I drilled a... Drilled a hole for that guy. I'm just kind of have it mounted in there with a the zip tie right now. Um, but anyhow, I still have the switches right there, you know, for like the fans and the, you know, the nitrous arming shit and the purge and then an extra one for, you know, whatever I want, I guess. And then, uh, then this kind of sits right there and it sits pretty tight in between this and that. And then the wires will just run up in there and, uh, you know, then have all the wiring and crap down there. Um, so that'll work, and then this will basically be my, my ignition. I won't have any relays going to the, to the little fuse box, it'll just be this, you know. So, so I think that'll be cool, you know, so that's kind of, you know, and then if, and then I'll have this running up to the other, uh, you know, switch. So that'll have to be on, and then this will have to be on, and then they'll, you know, basically both just work, and then the ignition switch, I'll, I'll still start it with the key. Um, but yeah, then if I leave my car there, I mean, I could take that out of it, and, you know, if I really wanted to, if I didn't want to be dicking with it, or my brother, or something, you know, you know how that is, but, uh, but yeah, this, this prologue will be pretty, pretty badass, and then right now, I'm kind of getting rid of my whole, you know, this relay situation, um, trying to clean up some of the wiring, you can, I mean, there's a lot less in there right now, and then this is the other fuse box I'm using, so, you know, I'll have plenty of, plenty of extra, you know, space in there, and I'll have plenty of power going to it as well, so basically, you know, I won't have to worry about much, or if I want to add something real quick, just smash another fuse in there and plug it in, and it's got power, you know, and run it to a switch or whatever, and then I don't, you know, don't got to worry about too much after that, and then this right here kind of ran out of space, and, you know, did a whole bunch of other shit, so, but, but yeah, alright, so, uh, <clears throat> Basically got me a little bit more of a mess. Not really more of a mess, but it looks like more of a mess. There's more wires involved now. Um, here's all the wiring and shit for the, the pro logger, and that's a bunch of extra wire. I didn't feel like you know, cutting off all short because I'd have to splice it back in later if I move it into something else. But uh, that's pretty much unneeded wires. Here's the thing for the wide band for it. Um, there's the relay for the nitrous trigger you know with the with the ground right here coming off of the uh, prologger and that's basically going to be for the switched output to tell it when to turn on the nitrous and when to turn it off and 
and all that crap. So, so that'll be cool. I still have the arm switch, so I'll still arm it right there just on the switch so that, you know, I could choose when I want it on and off. Um, you know, and then, uh, and then, yeah, I have, you know, the nitrous purge, nitrous purge right there, uh, fans and all that crap. I'm gonna put in there. Um, and then I also have running the wires, this terminal right there goes over to that right there which feeds all you know these guys and then these are just all extras I'm gonna run one to the fuel pump and then this whole row back there is all the the other ones that go up to those things you can tell it's kind of like plug-in and bullshit and blah 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 but um, should probably take more time and, and redo it a little bit better but um, just kind of trying to get it get it going again you know just a little bit safer and a little bit easier to diagnose this time um, but yeah that's uh, that's it for now so I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash the dash back in there and hook everything up and, and actually bolt this thing in and get all the switches and everything on there and, uh, and call it good then go out and test it and make sure everything's good with the nitrous and then pull it back in and, and basically ugh, before I need to do uh, uh, lower control arms I'm gonna extend some more cuz I don't ever know if I showed you but uh, that driver side one uh, broke at one of the events and it's been rewelded and blah 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 but so anyhow the side that David welded by the way um, but uh, anyhow I'm gonna extend some more lower control arms um, finish you know I gotta connect connect this oh, I got that that in too but yeah, I got that switch in, um, got to run these, you know, basically one, one to that, and then one to this, and then that goes over there and turns on and turns itself on and off, and then distributes the power. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for now. Alright, so this is, uh, basically the setup that I got in here so far, um, that's all in there, and you hit this fuel pump, and all that crap turns on. Um, basically, turns on that whole panel right there. Um, I have this right here that's turned on with the with the ignition, so I can sit here and uh, you know play with the settings and all that crap when uh, you know basically when it's when it's off instead. You know, I can sit here and and play the play the logs and shit um, but yeah anyhow it uh, that's the voltage some other bullshit menu 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 those are all the logs you hit start then it'll like you know supposedly play the bastards but stop menu you go power cylinders that's you know V8 or whatever Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Here's the output for the nitrous I have. Uh, type output. You can change between VTEC and, and uh, you know, regular switched output. Attack on. So that comes on at zero. So it's like always on and then attack off. See, it like deletes the, the settings when you go in and edit it again. I don't know. Which kind of sucks. But, so this, you gotta pretty much just go up there. But yeah, so all that, that crap's pretty much wired in. Um, and that's about it. Kind of sucks. My uh, I found out, I forgot I had my damn HP tuners, uh, like pro cable, in the backseat of my freaking truck. And so anyhow, they uh, they took that bastard too. And uh, I don't know. Never, no, didn't kind of, I guess, really set in about how much shit they actually fucking took from me until that. And, uh, I don't know, it just fucking sucks, they, they fucked me so hard, but, anyhow, um, so that's when the tack turns off, so basically it'll be, the nitrous will be able to turn on from zero, um, RPMs, um, until 6,000 RPMs, or 5990, or, you know, whatever, I think I have the rev limit at like 64, but, I can't go in and, and edit any of that crap anymore because they took my HP tuners cable. Um, 
which sucks. So now I can't tune anything. I can't add timing. I can't take away timing. I can't do anything with timing. Um, basically just kind of really fucked me over. That thing was like 650 fucking bucks and, you know, it's like everything up until that didn't affect, didn't affect my drifting and then now it does. But yeah, anyhow, so tack off. Um, so that's when, when it'll turn off. Um, this is like a test, so it'll blink if it if it's on. So it's gonna blink all the way until 6,000. Um, air fuel ratio, I have that on. So then it'll turn on at 7.3. You know, it'll be on from there, and it'll turn off at 13.3, which I'll probably lower that to like, you know, 12 something or something like that. So anyhow, I don't know. It, supposedly, so it won't go lean if. Uh, you know, if it decides that, that it's time to, uh, you know, blow up the motor, it, it shouldn't, so. Alright, so anyhow, um, basically what I'm working now on now is this crap. See those little nuts in there, those little square guys? Anyhow, when you, uh, stupid auto shit, when you uh, tighten them on with impacts, they don't, they don't really like it, so they like to break off. There's like four little corners that are welded. From the other one, but yeah, they uh, they like to break off. So that's a new nut right there, and that's the other thing. You can see the little triangles I had to cut in to get out to them. But this whole subframe right here was scooching back and forth pretty bad. And uh, so yeah, now I'm just gonna throw some a little bit of weld on it. I already got them on there tightened up, and so here we go. Well, the sun came up, and now I'm getting like a error message for the air fuel. Um, I got that thing all welded up and. Stuff. Um, this is my uh, redneck bottle heater. So we heat up the bottle, it's almost okay, 750 to 1000. I'll wait until it gets closer to 1000. About 900 is where I want it. Um, but I got the, the other O2 sensor working, that, that O2 sensor was bad. Um, so I just went ahead and did that. This is my way of getting away with not having to jack it up. Stupid jacks, but yeah, so O2 sensor works now. It idles at like 10, 10 AFR, so that, that kind of sucks. But, uh, can't tune it now. That's dope. It's, uh, let's see, Thursday, 3.40 something in the morning, and uh, as you can see, Big Dirty's all uh, all freaking apart. Um, doing a front main seal on her, that's the tensioner that's broke the other day, it's got a new belt on her already. Uh, I got new radiator hoses, new heater hoses, new coolant bottle, because that son of a bitch was getting ready to crack. Um, so yeah, it was leaking front main seal a little bit, so I decided to go ahead and do that. And then I noticed it was kind of seeping a little bit on that uh, oil cooler right there. So I went ahead and, you know, I figured I was going to have to drain drain the coolant and all that crap to get to the um, heater hoses and, you know, replace those because the, you know, there's a new one. Here's a freaking old one. And it just, like, looked all cracked and you know shitty and I'm like hey, I don't really want to drive out of state you know 
freaking drift events all the time. Um, so yeah, so yeah, Big Dirties is chilling in the shop, hopefully where he won't get broken into. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm daily, daily driving the, the damn drift car home tonight, so, so yeah, um, also got, uh, got this son of a bitch, like a little Sony handy cam dude, yeah, this thing, little action cam bastards, I know, kind of on like a, a rental program from from Best Buy just to see, uh, you know, see how good uh, good it works, decide if I like her or not, and if I do, then maybe I'll keep her, and if I don't, then I'll just take some bitch back. But yeah, I'm gonna drive home, go to bed, try to get a little bit of sleep. We're supposed to be leaving, um, like, today at, like, midnight or something, or maybe Friday morning early, so we'll see. back to the friggin' shop today. Went to Walmart and I, you know, spending all my money um, on shit. I got me this and then my friggin' drift car daily, you know, ran out of gas and Taco Bell drive through so that was cool. So I paid some, some homeless dick five bucks to help me push over to the gas station. Um, but uh, anyhow, Big Dirty, he's, he's getting ready to be smashed back together probably. After I clean up all this this bull poop, um, this is <clears throat> this is the story of a girl. Um, she fucking cried a river and fucking drowned the whole world. Um, but I got this son of a bitch on the the rental rental from uh, Best Buy that program. I got me some Loctite for kid. Uh, you know, expensive is freaking shit. Uh, piece of shit memory card for it. And then I got me these cameras, these are going to be road trip cameras. So that'll be cool, we'll see what, what pops up on there. And see I got Blake, Blake watching the car, washing the car, and then, uh, and then yeah, I got to smash Big Dirties. I got to, I still, still, okay, so I woke up at like 2, no, maybe 3, but um, 4.17 in the afternoon, the day before I'm supposed to be driving. I still haven't fixed the damn bumpers. They're still in bodywork mode. So I gotta, uh, I gotta friggin' finish that shit. And Blake's over there trying to, trying to pressure wash, and I was over here learning, learning about this operating bastard, because, you know, I just got used to a damn GoPro, and then, you know, hopefully the guy who has it now doesn't know how to use it, because, I don't know, didn't have no instructions now. Alright guys, so we're in the office. Blake doesn't like me when I, when I creep on it. And basically we just we pay Blake and entertainment around here. We pay you in entertainment though, right? Nobody ever pays me in entertainment. I mean this is Blake's rig. Son of a bitch. He wants to freaking kill himself on this bastard all the time. Maybe we'll strap up. Uh, I told him after the Dotson's done, I'm gonna freaking give him a run for his money. And this son of a bitch. Look at that. Pretty Blake. All right, and so I got uh, the Griffin uh, radiator for the Dotson. It's all in there, and you know, can't see nothing. And yeah, there she is. I uh, think I ordered. Must have clicked the damn wrong one, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't have a damn water neck on it, so I'm gonna have to figure figure that out. But so, I don't know. So I gotta do that too. Son of a bitch. Blake's out. Until 
Ben's right in. We got Ben from the, the Drift Factory up here. He's loving some shit. Alright Ben? I right, still so got the bumper all uh, all painted and dicked. You can see all the cracks and shit. I didn't have time to sand anything. Just sprayed one coat of clear, said fuck it. Um, car's pretty much ready, tools are ready. Um, Ben's almost ready. Um, truck's almost ready. Oh, also it's 4.30 in the morning. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, ready to load up. Well, load the car. That's about it.